All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what's going on with your love lives. Um, this could be a soulmate, twin flame, past relationship, current relationship. We'll just see how the cards play out. So what do the Aries viewers need to know about their love lives right now? So what do the Aries that are watching this need to know about their love lives? Two of Cups, looks good. Two of Swords, interesting, all right. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands, Strength, Three of Cups. Okay. Okay, this energy is strange and contradictory as it kind of seems. It, it does make sense considering the last reading we got where there was um, just this energy of wanting to communicate with somebody and, and having there just be this miscommunication and it was like there's such a deep strong love but um it's like you guys just weren't um communicating or you weren't understanding each other you weren't understanding the the, the bond or you weren't it's like you guys were feeling rejected by each other, but neither one of you was rejecting each other. It's like you both wanted that love and that closeness with each other. Um, I see, because with the two of swords here, it's like you had to like, you were digging deep for the truth and you chose love. Like you were hoping for this love. You were hoping for like a love offer or like just communication, just some type of love. Um, you were choosing love. You were wanting love. And it's like there's still either like a lack of communication or miscommunication because it's like in the last reading I did, I got that you know this person like your your person like this person that I channeled, um, it didn't realize how much you love him and that he would realize it that he would like wake up and he would have these epiphanies and he would see the synchronicities and he would just like finally get it, like finally understand you. It's like, cause you weren't, you probably weren't communicating well or he just wasn't understanding it. Either you weren't communicating or it's like, like he, one or both of you was just holding back so much out of like fear or pride or whatever it was. But there's like such a deep, strong love there. Um, even though it's so blocked up, but, but yeah, the last reading I did, I, um, the, the last reading I did, I got that, you know, he would wake up and he would realize how much you love him. Like he would just, he would have that epiphany. Um, but looking at this reading and I need to clarify, it almost seems like that miscommunication is still going on between you guys. It's like this person was trying to put in the, um, with the Son of Pentacles, it's like, you see this, this is like something that she's bleeding for. It's something that's really hurting her. It's something that's really, it's really emotional. It's really emotional. Um, it's something that's just really, really hurting her. And um, you see her like scratch, like she's bleeding for it. She's literally in this, in this it's, it's, she's literally bleeding for this. It's, you know, it's hard work and patience and trying to see things in the long term and, and just trying to be understanding and just focusing on the long term and just being stable and waiting it out. And, um, you know, I think that you were trying to get out of that energy of the, the three of wands of being, you know, it's like you were trying to get out of this like hostile three of wands energy. Whenever I, cause whenever I see this card upright, I always take it as somebody who's like, I always, it always, I don't know, the energy just always feels hostile to me. It always feels like aggressive. And I feel like with it upside down, it's like you were trying to be patient and put in the hard work and, and be stable with this energy, with this person. You know, you're trying to be patient. You're trying not to flip out. You're trying not to give them an ultimatum or um, put too much pressure on them or, or bother them. Or, you know, you're trying not to... Um, 
push, you know what I mean? Like, you're trying to let it happen naturally and let them come to you. It's like you're trying, uh, but it's it's hurting you so much. And it's like you go back to the Seven of Wands energy. It's like something triggers you, and you, you went back to that energy of, of being defensive, of standing your ground, of, of not feeling like it's safe for you to be vulnerable with this person, of, you know, being scared of getting hurt any more than this person has already hurt you. Like, you feel completely heartbroken by this person um whether it's like a family connection or it's a lover connection just whatever that however that plays out it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic but it's like something just happened and you're trying to be strong but it's like you just went back to being guarded for whatever reason um, and so it's, it's like, yeah, I feel, I do feel like that person is going to eventually have these epiphanies and realize that you love them as much as you do, but it's kind of like they're just, there's still so much pride and fear on both ends that's blocking you guys and it makes it really hard. Uh, with the three of cups here, see, I'm led to intuitively read these cards and like usually when I read these, I'm like, oh, it's like a happy celebration, but I, I kind of don't see it that way. I almost see it as this person is like like you're like escaping from life right now almost it's almost like going off the deep end and like I mean it's like Alice in Wonderland energy don't get me wrong I love Alice in Wonderland but it's almost like when I look at it in this particular reading I almost see it as like living in like a fantasy world or like like detaching from reality like you're just off in your head right now like you're just kind of gone like this whatever this was it fucked you up and you're just kind of gone right now um it's almost like, I, I just heard that Nirvana song, I'm so happy because to, today I found my friends, they're in my head. Um, I'm in a daze because I found God. It's that kind of energy. It's just like, they're trying to be strong, but they broke. <laughs> like, you broke, I mean, I guess I should say. This is, this is I think this is your, your energy. Um, yeah, let me see. This is an interesting reading. This is a very strange reading for sure. <laughs> and it's just such a stubborn energy. It's like you won't budge and they won't budge. And there's like so much love there. And it's like you guys just won't. It's like you don't hear each other. It's like this person didn't. It's like you express so much love, but maybe you did it in such a way that it's like they didn't understand it was love. They didn't understand you were telling them that you loved them. Like your words or your energy, it's like something about it. Like they didn't understand that you were saying, like telling them how much you love them. You know, like they just... It's like you were so vulnerable. Like see, with the Two of Swords, like looking at the Two of Cups, it's like you chose love, you chose vulnerability, you chose this connection. You chose that energy, and it's like, for whatever reason, it's like they didn't... Ugh. It's like they still don't realize that you love them. They're still not... It's like that same energy that I got from the last reading, and but it's like... Like, they have no idea you're... I don't think they have any idea that you're in as much pain as you're in over this. Like, I don't think they have a clue that you feel this much pain and this much love for them. I really don't. I don't think they get it. I almost, like, wonder if, like, you reached out to them recently or they reached out to you recently, but there was, like, that miscommunication there, and so it's, like, you guys still aren't... Like, this person is still not getting it. Ugh. Because it's, like, you just... You did something here. I mean, something happened here, I feel, you know? With the Seven of Pentacles, it's, like, I feel like... It's like, it's like this energy of like hard work and like bleeding for this. And like, she's looking at this love. She's like, she's like, okay, I'm going to do this. You know, like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to open myself up. Like, I'm going to like, this, you're, you're so vulnerable. Like, you're so vulnerable with this person. Um, but then it's like something just triggers you and you're like, you know, you get guarded and you're like, screw it. This is, this is, I can't. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's like miscommunication or something. It's like. You just go back to being guarded, and you're trying to be strong, but it's like you don't feel like you can be strong anymore. You're kind of just losing it right now, I feel. Or I don't know. If, I don't know. Maybe this isn't losing it. It's just like, for some of you, it probably is. For some of you, it, it's it, this is hurting you a lot. Um, 
is I don't want to say losing it because some, for some of you it is you know for some of you I think you are kind of going off the deep end um, but for some of you it's just kind of like I mean not going off the deep end it's just it's just like a detachment from everything almost it's almost like you isolate it's like you were so vulnerable and it's like now you're kind of isolating and you're like okay I don't have anybody but myself and my my fantasies and my cat and my rabbit over here and my my imaginary tea party you know it's that kind of energy it's like you're just you're dreaming you're you're dreaming and isolating what is this what is this miscommunication even about for you guys Whew. what is this miscommunication even about <laughs> What is this miscommunication even about? What's going on with it? So it's so weird because it's like you feel so vulnerable and you feel so open and so loving. And it's like they just, ugh, how do they not get that? <laughs> like, how do they not get it? I guess maybe this person is just so insecure. It's like they can't see what's right in front of their face. I don't know. It's weird. I almost wonder, because it's like, look at this energy. It's like, she's like bleeding for this. Like, she like, like, it's almost like such like a raw emotional energy that I almost wonder if this person is just like not used to that energy. They're not used to that kind of like somebody who's just as real and as vulnerable and just raw as you are. You know what I mean? Like, maybe they're not used to that energy, so they don't understand that that's love. Like, they don't understand what you're expressing is love. Yeah, traps. Grove. <laughs> It's really fucking sad because it's like you guys love each other so much. Oh, fuck this reading. Loyalty, letting go. Yeah. Meditation, listening. Well, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think that's good. I think that's good energy. And the end, at least. Meditation, listening, and honesty. Um, it's like this person your person feels trapped and then with Grove it's like whenever I see that card I always think it's like you're their safe space or they're your safe space or, by, or both you know it's like this energy of like healing and just like cuddling and just, just being close to each other and just being vulnerable and honest and it's just like this this, this really beautiful sacred energy but with the fragment card here, it's almost like when I, mean, I got that like Alice in Wonderland type energy that um, the the three of cups that I saw where it's kind of like you were dreaming a lot. And I almost wonder if it's like this is that same three of cups energy that I saw. And again, that, that card usually means something much better. But I'm intuitively reading the card. I, I always I read the pictures more than I do the actual def definitions when I channel. So um for this reading i almost feel like it's it's more like a detachment from reality or from not from reality i shouldn't say from reality but just just isolating just so like you you just like you just got hurt a lot whatever it is that just happened or whatever miscommunication it's like something is really like this connection is really it's really weighing on you i think i think that it's the, the lack of communication or the silence all of it is just the silence is, is kind of just hurting you a lot or the, the miscommunication, um, not understanding each other when there's so much love there, you know, like having them, having the pride block you guys. Um, but yeah, it's like the, this feeling of being trapped and with the grove and fragment, I think it's like similar to that, that um, detach, not like, I don't know what I say detached, but it's just like this isolated, sad energy that I got earlier in the reading. It's, it's kind of like, you see them as your safe space like you do and you feel that deep connection but there's like it's like fragmented it's like i've been listening to the to the repo soundtrack a lot lately for some reason and i don't know why the um this song i didn't know i'd love you so much just popped into head into head from the repo soundtrack so if you're familiar with that movie um 
And that's like the main, I think that's the main, the main words in the song is just, I didn't know I'd love you so much. I didn't know I'd love you so much. It's almost like this connection is like deeper than you guys expected, I guess, or deeper than one of you expected. Trying to figure out what to make of this, um, just this grove and fragment card. Cause it's almost like you, like they are your safe space, but it's like, like, it's almost like you have these like painful memories or like these like traumatic memories associated with them. It's weird. It's almost like, like the energy of like deception or confusion. It's like, like you feel like they're your safe space. You trust them. You feel so vulnerable and loving with them. But then there's like this, this whole different energy that confuses you. Um, and just sense a strange, ener strange energy of deception and confusion. Uh, hmm. I don't know if it's anything they've done, though, or if it's something that, like, like I don't know, it's such a weird, it's like, in your being in your head so much, it's just, what do I, how do I, what do I make of that energy? It's like, you see them as your safe space, but then there's, like, this fragment, so it's almost like, like, they hurt you there, it's like, they, they hurt you on that deep level, or it's like, they, they, something is off there, I don't know. Um... And they're not recognizing your loyalty and your love for them, so it's kind of like they let it go, um, or they're trying to let it go, but then, like, I think their guides are going to smack them away, because we have meditation, we have listening, and we have honesty. So I feel like they're, I feel like meditation is talking about, um, you know, spirituality and, and literal meditation, possibly, and um, also just, you know, spirit guides and just the spiritual realm, and I almost feel like I mean, they're going to be shown, like, their guys are trying to show them about something, some some kind of secret or some hidden information or, uh, this, like, astral realm energy, it's, it's, or it's, like, you know, like, the connection, the love that's there, it's almost like their guides are, like, putting it in their face, they're putting the synchronicities in their face, and eventually they're going to have no choice but to, to listen, um, what does this card say? Darkness, that's interesting, right here it says, darkness does not always equate to evil. Light does not always bring good. That is very interesting. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, their, their guides are showing them a lot. It's probably very deep and complex. It's probably, it's probably not something that the cards could just easily tell you. It's probably more deep and complex than that. But, um, but their guides are, are, are trying to push them to listen and to be honest about how they feel. And, um, you know, it's, it's like you guys are, it's, it's, there's just this vulnerability and this deep love here. And so it's like they're kind of being pushed to listen, to, to listen to the, the energy behind the words, to listen to the, to get deeper, to look deeper. Don't just look on the outside, look deeper, go in deeper. And, um... And be honest and open and vulnerable and, and say what you really feel. It's it's that kind of energy, you know. Their their guides are trying to, to push them to be meditative. So it's good overall. I mean it's it's kind of a road bump here that you guys just are, have or are are in the middle of getting yourselves into with the miscommunication, but um, luckily you have these spirit guides on your side that are gonna be getting you guys back on track, I think. Um, so this connection shouldn't be coming back around from what I feel. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe to me.